welcome to our Konuko. Today I am in the greenhouse right here, one of them. And I started uh, planting and replanting some of my um, strawberries and some tomatoes and broccoli. So I'll talk to you about strawberries first. So um, the first year we got strawberries, we got one of those like little plants at our local Home Depot and um, we put it in the ground and it didn't do much. And I didn't want to kill it. I thought, you know, let's give it another chance. Second year, it grew a couple of leaves and that was it. <laughs> and then the third year, it came back again and this time it had a flower. So I just kept letting it live year after year. So strawberries go through a similar process that a lot of flower plants go through. So um, a friend of mine taught me that. It's called uh, uh, sleep, creep, leap. So what usually happens is there is a year of sleep. They're kind of, you know, not really growing. Then the following year, they'll kind of creep. That means that they'll grow a little bit on the ground. And then by the third year, they'll leap. I mean, they'll grow really big, really luscious. So um, that's exactly the same process that strawberries go through. So be very patient with strawberries. So our strawberries, um, started off really small and then all of a sudden it took over our entire garden area, our entire konuko. Uh, there was even one year where I said, hmm, I'm not going to plant anything else. Let me just see what happens to the strawberries. They spread everywhere. They are also vines, so they just need a little bit of room and then they create these like kind of like little viney tendrils, plant themselves and then do it again. Viney tendrils plant themselves and they'll just keep spreading. Uh, they don't grow deep. They're really right there at the very surface and I'll show you what ours looks like this year. I've limited them because we did kind of um, create two different konuko uh, spaces, well two different greenhouse spaces. So um, I've limited them a little bit and I've tried to put them in one side. So this year they don't look like a lot but in the last few years they've really been a lot. Like there was one year when we let them grow where we had plenty to share with the chipmunks. If you've watched other videos, you know I have a battle with the chipmunks because they eat all my strawberries. So let me show you what they look like. So this is what the strawberries look like this year. I've kind of pu pushed them all here onto one side, but usually they've spread a lot. Um, so I'm going to show you what the flowers look like and then what the strawberry itself looks like when it starts growing. So this is a typical flower here. And you'll see that it usually looks kind of popped up. It's really cute. And then you'll notice here um, that's a strawberry growing. So the petals will start falling off and the strawberries will start growing right where the petals are. I'll show you some other ones over here. These guys, once you see them that they're kind of flopped over, it's because they're heavy because now they have strawberries. Yay! I just watered them so they've got a little bit of uh, dirt on them. But um, there are the strawberries. So Everywhere you see a beautiful flower growing, that's where a strawberry will be. And strawberries like very, um, they don't like a lot of like dense dirt. They like very kind of like uh, porous -y type of dirt where they can just spread their little shoots. So you'll notice here, oops, you'll notice here, these guys, they'll just kind of come out of here spread out and they just keep replanting themselves a little bit at a time and they're they connect to other plants and so on so they're little vines that crawl across the ground um, they need to be watered a lot there was we've been experimenting with water um, if you don't water them enough they'll obviously won't grow as much if you water them too much, your strawberries will actually taste a little watery. They won't have the nice strawberry flavor. So those are a couple of tips. So experiment with strawberries. Remember, sleep, creep, leap. Uh, you will have to be a little patient with strawberries. Uh, but don't worry, once they leap, they will take over. So <laughs> you may actually have to live at them. Uh, Anyways, have fun with strawberries. Uh, oh, the other thing is they're perennials, so they will keep coming back every year. You don't have to replant them. Um, they seed themselves and they can stand New Hampshire winters. So wherever you are, you'll be able to grow strawberries. Take care, everyone.